Alright guys, it is quickly turning into a spectacularly gorgeous day. Here in the end times, in paradise, along the slopes of the Mount Baker volcano, this will be my last day here on the banks of Swift Creek on my Bigfoot hunt. Uh, here on this rapidly approaching gorgeous Saturday morning, September 23rd. So September 23rd it is the second day of the fall of 2017 and it is my um, second day of being a 58 year old depressed collapsitarian doomsday prophet. And uh, so I've done a lot of thinking on my birthday and I don't know how many of my rants you watched yesterday. Uh, my, my birthday sucked. It fucking sucked. It fucking sucked right up to about 6 p.m. And so what happened at 6 p.m. is something that has never happened in my entire life before. History was made, uh, not just in Hambone's life, but in uh, Humpty Dumpty tribe's life, because what happened last night for the first time ever is I got to introduce members of Humpty Dumpty tribe who never would have been introduced if, if it weren't for Humpty Dumpty tribe. Are, are you following me? So what I've been doing, and I've been doing this for seven and a half years, and it's really that just for the last six months I've been meeting various tribes members. I think I'm up to good Lord, maybe, maybe 10 or 12 tribes members. But this is the first time ever, you know what I'm saying, that so I knew these tribes members and I got to introduce them as we had dinner at this Korean restaurant and and uh North Bumblefuck, Washington. And, and so what occurred to me uh, on the drive back home is, is, is several things. Uh, is Number one is I'm tired of living like this. Uh, I, I admit it. Uh, I, I've hit the fucking wall. I'm getting too old to, to this, this, this goldfish bowl existence just uh, swimming back and forth and I am ready to make the next step which is the step that I wanted to make way back there in 2008 I have always said and and, and uh, ridiculously I still believe on some Pollyanna level that what 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 I want to either co-create or be part of is one of these and I hate to use this word intentional communities where I'm talking a small group of like-minded individuals getting a piece of land somewhere out there and and making something of it this has always been my vision but the problem is being a depressed collapsitarian eco-nazi understanding we are so fucked it took me two years to understand that I do not have in my real life I do not have a small community of like-minded friends I, I love my friends in Austin Texas and wherever uh, dearly uh, but they're not like-minded they have no interest, zero interest, in what I just happen to find to be the most interesting subject on the planet, which is the escalating collapse of, of everything from, uh, the, you know, from the financial system to the society to the civilization to the species to the planet. I just happen to think this is an interesting time not necessarily a pleasant one, but you can't say it's a boring time to be on this planet. But 
it took me about two years to pull my head out of my ass and, 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 and realize that, oh my God, am I here all alone? And that's exactly, you know, a few of my friends, my, my real life pre-Humpty Dumpty tired friends, I think they somewhat get it about the shallow end of, of the doomsday prophecy pool. And, and you know, the, the, the Alex Jones end of it. Uh, what most people, when, when they say, I've taken the red pill, it, it's, it's that end, which is bad enough, but they either have no interest or they just absolutely refuse to look at the absolute horror of what is going on in the deep end of the doomsday prophecy pool, which is the obliteration off of this planet of every other single species of earthling we share this planet with. The ecological collapse of planet Earth. They, for some reason, it, it, well, I don't know, they're just not interested or they just are not going to go there. And so I just in, just in desperation and what is, what is my buddy Mike Sleva, who I'll come back to. So Mike, I, I, I'm looking forward to your comments on this. You, you, you know, Mike told me in our interview from last spring, I don't know if this is before or after I turned on the microphone, but what we were talking about, he just got tired of, of hearing his own voice in the echo chamber of the Dumasphere. That he, you know, he is, he's just tired of talking to himself. And so he joined about 18 months ago this little community out there in New Mexico. And I will be visiting Mike and bringing you a report. I'll be there in about six weeks uh, to, to check out what, what he's going, what he has discovered in his life. And who knows, maybe I'll fall in love with the place. Uh, you know, I've, I've, I've had several rants. I just had one yesterday about, uh, you know, one problem with uh, these, my number one problem with these intentional communities is I understand uh, in, in an intentional community or a global industrial society that a tiny few, pers tiny, tiny, I would say, well less than 1% of the members of the community are willing to step up to the plate and, and do their share of the fucking work. It is called division of labor. It, it is called accepting some personal responsibility. And uh, it, it, if you're one of these people, uh, the 99% of the people who's just a fucking Klingon, uh, little freeloading parasite, uh, just saying it's not my job. Just, just shut this video down right now because I'm not talking to you. I am sending this message out to the absolute tiny few people on this planet, right here, even in Humpty Dumpty tribe. I'm talking the creme de la creme who not only understand what is going on on this planet, but they're, they're, you know, just, and they're trying to figure out about what they're going to do with the rest of their lives that they are willing at this point to step up to the plate, do some fucking work, take some responsibility. And, and I know that there's a few of us out there out, out of 4,200 people on, uh, on, on, on in, in Humpty Dumpty Tribe, I'm talking to about 10 of you. The, the other, where are we? 4,160. I am talking to 10 people. The other 4,150 of you who are not ready for this, don't waste our fucking time. Go back to your cute cat videos, okay? I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the 10 or maybe even 12 people 
uh, in Humpty Dumpty tribe and on this planet who are uh, who are ready to take this next step and who have had this vision, ludicrous though it may be. And and, and guys, I, I, I'm I'm going I'm going to make the disclaimer right up front in, in case anybody thinks. I'm suffering some fucking delusion that any goddamn little intentional community is going to do one goddamn thing on any level to change the situation on this planet. I am not a clueless fucking moron. I, I, I am not suggesting on any level that what I'm getting ready to discuss is going to do one goddamn thing to turn this fucking freight train around. Okay? I suffer no delusions, but uh, that's the eco-Nazi, doomsday prophet part of me, but the, uh, but the other part of me, the depressed collapsitarian, is what the fuck? How to react to this? You know, I'm 58 years old now. I'm not getting any younger. And, 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 and uh, I, I need some damn help, people. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm sick and tired of this. I don't want to wake up uh, on my 59th birthday, assuming there's a planet here in a year from now. I don't want to wake up a year from yesterday and, and, and take stock of my life. And, and, and realize just the absolute futile pointlessness of my existence. So, uh, I, and I just got a tiny little breath of it last night at dinner that finally it's taken seven and a half years of goddamn hard work. And, and, I, and I know, I don't, I don't, well, I don't know what most people think about what I do. Uh, they, they think, I, I don't. I don't know what your image of me is and what I do. I work goddamn hard to do what I do here. For for very fucking little appreciation on any level, uh, but but I keep doing it because I understand that somewhere, somewhere in this planet of seven and a half billion people, there's ten or twelve of you out there that understand what the fuck I'm trying to say. Maybe the other 4,150 of you, you'll figure it out eventually. And this is why I'm saying uh, I love you still and, and, and uh, keep on listening to my videos whether or not you, you want to step up to the plate and, and give me a little bit of moral and financial support. That's your own business. That, that, that is your problem a lot more than mine. I assure you that uh, that your lack of participation in, in this little uh, community is your problem. It's going to be a hell of a lot more your problem when this shit comes down. A hell of a lot more uh, of your problem than mine. Because I am, am taking the first little baby step in moving forward with this video, this very video. Uh, I, I, I'm going to plant this little seed and hopefully I'm thinking about nine months from now I'm hoping it will sprout. So anyway this is what I am throwing out into the universe. This is what Ham on Little Tail uh, eco-Nazi real estate investor uh, is, is throwing out into the universe that as you guys may or may not know the the way that I support myself I assure you is not donations to Humpty Dumpty tribe although I absolute appreciate the, every single one of you uh, supporting what I'm trying to do here uh, that's not the. That's not how I make my money. Where my money comes from, in addition to these little fifteen-hour, fifteen-dollar-an-hour gigs and these goddamn Christmas tree jobs from hell, uh, which aren't getting any easier the older I get. Where I make my money is I rent a house 
in Texas that I own this house in Texas on a floodplain with with not only no flood insurance uh, but not any insurance. I don't have one penny of insurance because I cannot afford it. It, it, it. It's all I can do to come up with my fucking taxes every year that they raise $750 in one lump uh, last year. So anyway, I own <clears throat> this house in a, on a floodplain outside of Austin, Texas, which is worth somewhere between one hundred and thirty and one hundred and fifty thousand dollars okay I'm trying to get my tenant to buy it from me and hopefully that will happen so anyway I'm basically gonna give him till March 1st to buy it and the price I am giving him is one hundred and thirty five thousand dollars if he does not want to buy it I am going to put it up on the market on March 1st, assuming it doesn't wash away between now and March 1st, I'm going to put it on the market for 150000 But then I'll have all these goddamn real estate fees and all of this shit. So I'll, I'm probably going to walk out of this deal maybe $120,000. Okay, now as I have mentioned on several videos, recently and apparently a lot of you un don't understand and, and I don't blame you for not understanding it I am a real estate investor I have got myself and I'm not blaming the Internal Revenue Service I walked into this it's a great program it's called the 1031 exchange which is a win-win situation for the Internal Revenue Service and the real estate investor but of course the advantage is with the house. The IRS has the ultimate advantage. But it's still a good program for the, the person I was when I joined it. it. It's an excellent program for what I would say would be 99.9999999999999% of people taking advantage of this 1031 exchange program which is would be real estate investors who have their own primary residence I am probably I might be the single only homeless homeless real estate investor that owns a home but the deal is the agreement uh, that, that I got in with the Internal Revenue Service is when he joined this 1031 and, it, and it's a tax dodge is what it's not a tax dodge it's a tax delay I assure you these motherfuckers at the IRS it, it, if nothing else the day I die they're gonna get their money all right but anyway I, I, I'm not gonna get on some fucking uh, rant about 1031 exchanges this is what I'm in the bottom line is this <clears throat> is the number one part of the deal is I am not allowed to live in my own house if the Internal Revenue Service catches me living in my own home uh, I will owe good God tens of thousands of dollars in, in taxes I, I will owe a boatload of money and the flip side of that is while I am I as the owner as the owner of this house yeah right uh, I do technically have the right to sell the house however what I need to do actually within 45 days of, uh, of sell of getting the money for my own house I need to do what's called identify the new property I am going to buy and then I need to close the deal within within 180 days okay so you say so are you following me here I can't just take the money and run well I mean I can let's say let's say I net hundred and twenty thousand dollars by the time the fucking IRS is done with me I would probably walk away from the deal I would be damn lucky to have half of it 
And, and, and I'm not ready to give these motherfuckers fifty to sixty thousand dollars from the sale of my own home. So by the rules, what I need to do is take the money. Let's call it. Let's just call it one hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Hopefully, it'll be more than that. But let's call it one hundred and twenty. That's a realistic picture. I need it, it, it to. Well, even that's wrong. So whatever I sell the house for. So let's say my tenant buys it at $135,000. What I need to do is somewhere in the United States of America, and within 45 days of, of my tenant buying the house, I need to identify a property anywhere in the United States of America, including Alaska and Hawaii, and maybe even including the Virgin Islands. I bet we can get some damn good... Uh, real estate deals in the Virgin Islands, but I can't buy a property in Belize or Costa Rica. It has to be in the United States. For the same amount of money I saw, so if I, if I sell my house for $135,000, I need to buy another house for $135,001. So anyway, my guess is, what I'm looking at is probably around June 1st of next year. I am going to come in to about $135,000, which I have to put into another piece of real estate, I think. Are your minds starting to click what I am talking about? So I have no fucking idea. I'm looking up there in, in Arkansas. I, 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 I'm not going to buy a place in a floodplain. I think that's safe to say. Uh, did, just trying to figure out where the fuck. So I, I, I'm getting back to the, to the same place that I've always been, where my vision has always been. Buying a small acreage parcel of land with a small group of like-minded people. My vision has always been kind of what was in uh, St. Croix that I found in St. Croix, which probably had been blown off the damn map a couple of days ago. But, but in St. Croix, what it was, there was a central community kitchen, a, a community area, a, a kitchen, dining room, and bathhouses. In, in the center of the property, and then circling the, the community area were, I think they had six tiny houses, okay? Uh, I'm not, I'm thinking more like three or four, you, you know, little tiny houses. I'm talking about under 400 square feet, very simple little one-room cabins, maybe with a loft for sleeping. And so, the, the cabin is your private space. When you want to be alone, you can go back to your little house when you want to have social intercourse with a small community of like-minded friends. There is a central kitchen and dining area to break bread together because eating alone is the number one most depressing thing you can do as a human being. And, and of course, and the, the other part of my vision is, is a big community garden. Now, I mean, everyone can have their own little garden plots in, in their own little tiny house, and then a big, big organic community garden in the middle of it. This has always been my vision, but the, the only thing that I, that, that I need to, to satisfy the Internal Revenue Service and to satisfy my minimum income requirements is I just want to, I, I just need to get the bare minimum money which I'm getting now, and, and I am netting $700 a month. That's what I live off, not counting maintenance. Uh, so assuming a zero maintenance bill, 
and I don't have any insurance. So I, I rent my house out for $900 a month, but 200 of that goes to taxes. So I bring in $700. And that is my minimum requirement. I actually want, I want to raise that $100 a month. So here's what I'm looking for. If, if Humpty Dumpty tribe was not involved, what I need to do is find a house somewhere in the United States of America, not in a fucking floodplain, that is going to cost $135,001 and put a tenant in there and have it net me $800 a month. And that would be it. And then I would just go right on uh, uh, about this lifestyle that, that is making me goddamn miserable. But I, but now it, this is my one opportunity. I'm pretty sure, good God, this will be the last opportunity that I have to create this vision. So I am throwing it out there. I, ham on little tail, I will probably have... Let's call it $120,000. It's somewhere going to be between $120,000 and $140,000 to throw into this project. All right. Uh, so, I, so first, let me just speak to the people who clearly know they don't have the money to do this. I, I'm just saying, does anybody out there want to be Hambone's tenant? So... What we need to do, if you want to, if, if you want to be Hambone's tenant, help me find the damn place to buy. I, I'm wide open. If, if you have, if you find a place for somewhere between 120 and 140 thousand dollars, not in a fucking floodplain, uh, on on one acre of land, at least one acre of land, and you are willing to rent it from me where I net $800. So it's pretty simple. You get the price of the house, you look it up, what are the, what, what are the taxes, divide by 12, add to 800, and then we gotta figure out the insurance. Probably call the insurance another 100. So what you do is you, you find a place, you, you look up what the taxes are, you divide by 12, uh, you add 100 uh, for the insurance, and then you add 800 for your rent. So my guess is probably, I'm going to take a wild guess, between $1,000 and $1,100. So if you're paying between $1,000 and $1,100 for rent right now, and, 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 uh, and you find a place, I am all ears, and I'll just rent it to you. But that's not what I'm really looking for. I just, I just want to throw that out there for anybody on the tri out there in the tribe uh, anywhere in the United States of America who knows they don't have any money to throw in to a real estate purchase. Okay, now to my bigger vision. That, that's my plan B, which I put first. Plan A is the same plan A as it has always been, but it wasn't until last night when I was sitting down with a small community for the first time in my entire life since the day I was born, certainly since the day I took this red pill, I felt like I wanted to feel sitting there with, with, with three other, four of us, uh, four people on this planet breaking bread together who understand each other. And, and, and I'm not talking, it, it doesn't mean a, a community of like-minded individuals that we sit around and compare how fucking depressed we are and how enraged we are. And, you know, this is why I do this rant. Believe it or not, guys, when I finish these rants, I, I don't even talk much about the collapse of a planet. Uh, I don't even think about it that much, to be perfectly honest. Uh... But you know what I'm saying, just to be in a group of people where you don't feel like you have to fucking edit every word you say, where you don't have to feel like 
uh, the William Shatner character in the Twilight Zone episode on the airplane who can clearly see the monster on the airplane wing. That they, I, I don't want to feel like that anymore. You know? It, it was just such a relief. This is what it feels like. And, and, and for some ridiculous reason, don't ask me why, uh, I have some ridiculous hope that this can still happen in, in, in the year 2017. And uh, call me call me the dreamer that I am. Uh, I, I still think it can happen. I got a tiny taste of it, and, and I want to feel that in my life more and more, guys. And so, what I am throwing out is, I have, you know, as they say, let's call it 130,000, well, halfway between 120. I mean, obviously, I won't, you know, I won't know exactly for a while, but let's call it $130,000. I have $130,000, or I will have probably around the 1st of June, assuming there is still a an economy, uh, around the 1st of June, I will have somewhere around $130,000 to help manifest this vision of a, uh, of a small, like-minded, community of people who are ready to get to fucking work and take some responsibility. And you can take a wild guess what filter I'm going to put anybody through who responds to this. I think we all know the first filter that you're going to get run through. And uh, I, I won't be applying that filter, and you know goddamn what filter I'm talking about, I won't start applying that filter uh, f for about five or six more months. So uh, if you know you're going to get filtered out, then, uh, th then, then go join a community of cute cat video appreciators. I'm not talking to you. Who I am talking to is anybody who happens to have some money. I'm not saying you have to have $130,000. I am saying to buy into this. You know, th these are all things we got to figure out. I would say being a real estate investor, I would say $20,000. Absolute bare minimum, $10,000. So if you don't have ten thousand dollars, I you know I'm sorry guys, it ain't gonna work. Uh, absolute bare minimum of ten thousand, and I would really say twenty thousand. And so what I'm looking for is, is three or more people, either individuals or couples. No kids. No fucking clueless moron breeders. If if you have kids, guys. I'm sorry. Little dogs, nice dogs, absolutely allowed. Uh, so if you are an individual or a couple, I'm looking for probably three other investors with a minimum of $20,000. And then obviously, you know, the, the percentage of ownership will be divided, you know, according to your participation. So if, if, if I put in 120 and you put in 60, obviously I have twice the owner, you know what I'm saying, all that shit, we can work it out as what I did for with my life for 20 years. We can work all of those little numbers out, but of course, I need to be kept secret from the Internal Revenue Service. I mean, I can be on the deed, but Y'all kind of have to hide Hambone. Uh, the, the Internal Revenue Service cannot find out that I'm living there. So, you, 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 you see what I'm saying. Uh, and we'll have to work it out to look like 
Well, that still gets to the problem. I still need to figure out how to make $700 a month off this deal. Huh. Anyway, see, already, so... Huh. A anyway, I don't know how that's all going to work out, because I still, to... For, for my own sake, and to uh, to play the little game with the Internal Revenue Service, I still need to be producing rental income from the property. So how the hell is this going to work? A anyway, we'll figure it out. What I'm doing right now is planting the seed, uh, just looking for the people, and then of course there's looking for the place where we're going to do this, and, and that's agreeing uh, on uh, on where we're going to do this. And guys, I'm wide open. As I say, I'm looking in fucking Arkansas, and, and I know one of these tribes members uh, is jumping up and down like Hambone. Do not buy a fucking house in Arkansas. But anyway, I, I'm all ears. I'm throwing it out there, and I. I I, I don't want to have this conversation on the comments to this video. Anybody interested in this? Serious inquiries only. Anybody with the interest and the means to participate in this vision, email me. Humpty Dumpty Tribe at gmail.com. Humpty Dumpty Tribe, one word, all lowercase, at gmail.com. I'm not going to have this discussion uh, just in the comments section for the Internal Revenue Service and everyone else to listen in onto our private business. So uh, I'm putting it out there, guys, and we will see where we go from here. And uh, I hope this is the start of something big. What do you think, Sancho Bonzo? He agrees. See, Sancho, the first uh, the first six months I had him, you know, we were living at this eco lodge. Uh, so this is what he thought the way that things worked in Hambone's life. All right, little dog. Bye, guys.